Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Coming to you live from Helen's place. Actually, it's my place now. I bought it from Helen. Helen is the, is the, the one who makes all the Pearls of Wisdom necklaces. Yes, that I send to you and you uh, when you subscribe. We are going to, I'm going to be giving you some NHL picks here. That's what I do here at Pearl of Wisdom Industries. Me and B, Joe Bork, the professor. But uh, I'm going to be giving you a bunch of picks. I cannot give you all the picks because they got paid customers. And if you want to be one, go to BPAL Picks in Patreon. Download the Patreon app. Look up BPAL Picks. I'll put the link down there in the bottom. And uh, I'll, uh, we'll hook you up because we make mad money during hockey. Ask people in the comment section how much money that is to be made. It's tons. And it's so much frolic. The frolic is endless. So, um, also, I let you know that I'm going to be doing a live show on steelflyers.com, all sports network, two hours a day coming soon. I'll let you know when it happens. I have a pilot. You can check it out. I did picks for today, yesterday. This is now the 13th. You can go check those out. I'm doing picks today for tomorrow on uh, the January 14th. So I'll be giving you those picks. Tonight, I'm going to be on with John from Off the Wall Hockey. I'm not going to be on with him. I'm going to be supporting him as he does commentary on the Philadelphia Flyers-Pittsburgh Penguins game and the Tampa Bay Chicago game. It's pretty awesome. I'd highly recommend you check it out. Are we excited or what? Hockey season is back, yo. <laughs> Perlo dance, Perlo dance, Perlo dance. You did that, didn't you? That was awesome. Doug Masta is getting really good at that. You're getting good, I have to say. Okay, so let's get into it, shall we? The wash, uh, we'll start off with Buffalo and Washington, and I don't have a play here on either of these uh, as far as the total is concerned and the line, so we can give you both of those right now. Look it up. Okay, here we go. We can give you both of those right now. Now, the line. Washington Capitals at 160. Uh, I think Washington will likely win this game. Now, they do have a new coach in Laviolette, and I, but I don't think it's going to be hard for them to play for their new coach. Not to mention, Laviolette is a very raw, raw guy. He's going to get these guys pumped before the game. Now, with uh, Buffalo, Ralph Kruger has had a year to be able to work this system in Buffalo, and we'll see how that works. But he's going to have a new fancy, schmancy Taylor Hall to work with this year. Um, that's going to be exciting to watch. Um, I don't really like the line at 160 there, but I'm seeing 178 if you go to betonline.ag. Look at that as a play for Washington. I don't mind that juice at 178. Now, I am not, I'm not giving this as a paid pick, mainly because I really want to see what Buffalo looks like before I start throwing out money at them. Not to mention Samsona has a tendency to have a slow start. So if you're looking to gamble, 235 on Buffalo ain't bad with those conditions. But I'm going to stick with my pick of Washington if you can get it in the 178 range. Let's look at the total, shall we? See, I got you got a lot of people at 6.5, 6. six. I could see the over on that in this game. Both goaltenders are, I don't know, um, you've got... Uh, especially with Washington now, you've got a new system going to be put in place and they're going to have to, uh, they picked up some some defensemen that can move the puck like Schultz. Uh, so they're, they're, they're looking like they're setting themselves up to be very offensive this year. I could definitely see the over here. You know what? Uh, if you can get the over at six, I would play that. The reason why I kind of didn't play this or didn't put it as a paid pick is, again, I really want to see these, uh, especially Buffalo, play and see how their scoring goes to start off before I start making a pick on this. Um, Eichel and Taylor Hall together, though, seems like it should pot a couple. 
And Washington, of course, has Ovechkin and all the gang that they have with Backstrom. And, um, their offense has always been good. So I'm kind of leaning over. So I'm going to give you the over on that one. Boston, New Jersey. I have a play on the total here. So we're going to have to go to the line, money line. And I'm going to, uh, th this is very interesting. Pasternak is out for the Boston Bruins. Heischer's out for New Jersey. Um, New Jersey also has a lot of new players that they brought in, like Vatanen and Murray, that are going to have to adapt to a new system. I can see somebody taking the play on the 233 with New Jersey here with Pasternak out and Boston not having Krug as they traded him away. Um, and uh, also Chara as well. Could be a little bit deflating for that roster. But I'm going to say that Boston does pull this one out. Although I think it'll probably be tight. The Islanders versus the Rangers. I have also a play on the total here for my patrons. So I'm going to give you a play on the line. Um, for the Rangers, Zabonijot is out, and that's pretty huge. I think the Rangers against an Islanders team who everybody should know is very defensive in that system with Barry Trotz um, are, are going to want to play their game right away, and they're going to want to come out gunning, uh, get their speed up, Take away, start commanding the neutral zone a bit against the Islanders, which a lot of teams try to do. Without Zabonajad, though, that's going to be a very difficult task. Um, Strom and Heidel are going to put a, they're going to put a lot on their shoulders of Strom and Heidel. I'm going to go for 190. I don't mind the play on the Islanders here. I think that they can likely pull it out uh, and frustrate the Rangers. Be also knowing that you know their system is so uh, it's so much in play, it it's it's much more simple. And being the first game of the season, having a simple system to start is good, I think, because there's less chance for shakiness causing problems and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna go with the Islanders and give you that pick, Carolina Detroit. Now. I have a play on the line here, but I don't have a play on the over-under. So let's go look at the total. Um, total is a six and a half almost across the board. Can we find a six anywhere? Six and a half, six and a half, six and a half. Okay. I may be giving you a free pick here because I'm not quite sure who Carolina is going to put in the net. So this might be a free play that I end up giving to my patrons. So there, that's for you. It's my gift to you this new hockey season. I think it's likely going to be under six and a half, especially if they put Bern Detroit puts Bernier in. Bernier played so well last year that um, I just have a feeling that Carolina will have a difficult time running up on the, running up the score on them. Bernier last year showed that when he's super hot, he is very tough to score against. Detroit could win this. Uh, that would be uh, quite the uh, accomplishment. And uh, I've got a special play for this in uh, Patreon. You might want to check it out. Uh, Columbus versus Nashville. Um, I have a play on the total here as well. And I, oh, I can't give you this one at all. I can't give you this one at all. Um, I have a play on the total and I have a play on the line. So you might want to go check out the Patreon for that. I can't touch that one. Calgary versus Winnipeg. I don't have a play on anything on this, so I can give you both. Um, since we're on the total now, we'll go the total first. Hollebuck versus Markstrom. Now, Markstrom, this is going to be a new system, a new way of playing, uh, a new team that he's playing in front of. Hollebuck, we know how great Hollebuck is. Winnipeg didn't do much to fix that defense this year, though. And Calgary, I think they're, the what they did for their defense was a little overrated, to tell you the honest truth. Um, I think this could be a tight game. Under five and a half here seems like a decent play. I would probably lean the under on this play, um, simply because it's a rivalry. They're going to be, uh, and I think both teams are really going to be focusing on their defense to start the year. 
Um, they're really going to be emphasizing defense, defense, defense. With Stastny in there for Winnipeg that they brought in in the offseason, their forward defense is very good. Calgary, I think, is going to have a very tough time penetrating uh, the Winnipeg um, forwards for, for, for scoring. Not to mention Goudreau and Monaghan have to show that they're back. And if they don't, they could have a very difficult time scoring in this game. So I'm leading the under. Now let's look at the money line, shall we? Uh, money line's 190 both ways. Okay, I'm going to take the home team here because it's home. I, I, the, uh, the money line being even is pretty darn good. Uh, you can get it at 194 <coughs> on bet online. That's pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. I would definitely probably take that. I'm going to lean Winnipeg. San Jose, Arizona. I have a, another one where I have the total. Now, I may be giving you a paid pick here too. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do here with this one. But I am doing the video now. So as of right now, the 202 for San Jose looks pretty darn good. Arizona is going to be playing defense, defense, defense probably. San Jose's top six can score. Um, so I'm going to lean San Jose here at 202. If you got to pick an even game, and I think this is a fairly even game, you might as well go. Look, Bet Online's always giving you nice juice. Uh, Betway with the nice juice at 205. Is there anybody higher? Look at this. Five dimes, 208. And um, I will bet 210. Take that. Take the 210 if you can get it. Why not? Throw it out there. If it's going to be a coin flip, you might as well take the juice, right? Okay, Edmonton, Vancouver. I do not have a play on this at all, I believe. Um, actually, yes, I have something on the total. Vancouver and Edmonton. Uh, I'm pretty sure Demko is going to be in that. And then there's Markstrom. Uh, I'm going to lean Vancouver here. Um, take Vancouver in the juice. Simply because it's a very even game. And I just think Demko is going to keep on rolling after uh, what he showed in the playoffs. I don't mind Markstrom either, and I could see Edmonton winning this game. I'm not giving Vancouver a high percentage, but if you're going to take a pretty even game, you might as well take the juice. Bet on lines giving 207. Nice. 214 for Pinnacle. There's a good one to pull out. Go over to Pinnacle and see if you can nab that. Uh, Minnesota versus Los Angeles. I can give you both plays on this. Apparently, Peterson is going to be out for Los Angeles and Quick is going to be in that. Now, Talbot for Minnesota. This is going to be the first game in his new digs, working with new defense and new everything. Um, haven't, uh, as far as I can tell, there isn't a huge... Oh, yeah, there, Los Angeles has a few injuries here. I'm going to go with Minnesota on this. Um, but I'm very, like, 55%. I'm very weak on that. Now, let's go look at the total. Um, five and a half. That, let's say, if Quick doesn't have a good game, I'm going to kind of lean the over. But, again, it's just a lean. I am not very happy with the this game at all. This is not a, This is a very fady game. However, if you've got a lean on it and you feel special about it, go ahead and bet it. It's okay. Uh, Anaheim versus Vegas. I have a play on both. I can't give you this game. Uh, actually, you know what? I can give you Vegas on the ML on this. Um the the total of five and a half I have a to I have on but the money line it only pays one forty two. If you want to throw that in a parlay or something like that, then go right ahead. Another good parlay play, by the way, is I think that New Jersey will keep it close against Boston. So taking New Jersey minus one and a half or plus one and a half. Let's look at the spread on that. Is one forty eight. Maybe play that with Vegas and you got yourself a pretty decent double. Um, I could see that. Because I think New Jersey will keep it close. 
because Boston, again, the issues with their defense, working new people in the lineup and all of those things ha happening for you. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42 for picks today. Go over to John tonight on goods. It's a off the wall talkie. John, go follow him. I want to see you there as we frolic and watch the Pittsburgh Philadelphia game. I'll be giving you picks like this every day. I would love to see you subscribe to my channel. That would be fantastic. And I'll send you a my NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace, pearlocoptered to your door by Hernandez or Melissa. Um, if you also, one more thing about my Patreon. If I am under 60% for the month on hockey picks, you will get your month for free. That's how confident I am in my picks. I usually run at 70 80% of my picks. Um, so you want to, and you'll see that as you watch these videos that I hit quite a bit. You'll make a lot of money and there will be a lot of frolic. Also, when we get up to 20, 20 subscribers this year, we're going to start doing a parlay challenge. In which case you post your parlays and you get points for it. I will be posting them too. If you, whoever wins and you have to beat me as well, will get a free month as well. That's my full 42, boys and girls. That's all I have to give you today. Have a great day. Lots of love to you.